Oh! It's so good on a Friday. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I see you see her. I see you see her. But um, this is not a Candid with Cat video, but it is Friday afternoon and I'm filming and I'm filming a rather fun video. And after that, I'm going to be filming a Candid with Cat. So I'm guaranteed at least two or three of these, okay? It is what it is. Um, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Do it right now. Do it right now. <clears throat> I'll wait. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a big favor and subscribe. Join the family. We have a really, really good time here. Also, click the notification bell so that you know every single time I upload. Also, big, big, big request from me is that you follow me on Instagram as well. I really would appreciate some love on Instagram. I know that I've been away for some time and all of that, but I'm, I'm planning, I'm working on coming back. And I really, really would love it if you check out my Instagram page as well. Okay. Enough with the frivolities, let's get into the video. So this video was inspired by something online and I ended up wanting to do a video on assumptions about South Africa. So I know that largely the demographic of people who watch my channel are South African, but there are uh, Kenyans, there are Botswana, there's, da -da -da -da, there's people from all over, there's people from England as well. It's a great time. So I put up on my community tab about a week ago. About a week ago. I put up on my community tab, uh, what assumptions do you have of South Africa? It, whether you live in South Africa, uh, what assumptions would you like me to talk around? And if you don't live in South Africa, what assumptions do you have of South Africa? And I put it in my community tab and I got some responses. <laughs> and we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about them. And I am here as a South African. To debunk all the stuff that you are thinking. Okay? Either I'm gonna debunk it or I'm gonna tell you that it's absolutely true. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the video, shall we? Cheers. So, Kudzai, and I'm assuming Kudzai is from Zim, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, Kudzai says she's got two uh, assumptions. And the first one is the assumption one is it's a party every day. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone can dance. Let me tell you, I'm not the best dancer. So that is a lie, okay? I don't know. I mean, South Africans enjoy a good time. Like, we really, really, really <laughs> enjoy a good time. And we've kind of proved that, like, with the videos where you've seen people during the pandemic, they shouldn't be out, and they were out, and they were having a good time, no masks, no nothing. South Africans enjoy a good time. Whether you are in... So Soweto, or whether you are in Santin, or whether you are in Kukuleto, or whether you are in Kemp's Bay. South Africans really, really enjoy a good time. I'm basically saying whether you are white or black. South Africans really, really enjoy a good time. But it's not a party every day. We've got problems. South Africans have problems. We've got electricity problems. We've got uh, uh, water problems. Well, not recently. But we've got problems. We hate each other. South Africans don't like each other. It's just a mess in South Africa right now. So we do have problems, so it can't be a party every day. But we do enjoy ourselves a good freaking party. <laughs> that much we do. Woo, we do, we do, we do, we do. Have you seen, oh my God, the videos during the pandemic, the Savannah girls. If you know, you know. The Savannah girls. <laughs> I'll put up a picture of what people would do with Savannah. Go the paniki, like a little cap to a I'll put up some videos. South Africans enjoy a good time. I don't know about a party, but we, we are also really great at laughing at ourselves. Like, we really, really make fun of ourselves as South Africans. We've, we've got memes. We've got, we really do have a great time. South Africans really know how to have a good time. Um, Kudzai also says, violence and crime rates are really high. I mean, if I was to put it statistically, yes, violence and crime rates are high. I'd be lying if I said they weren't. South Africa has a major, 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 major problem with violence. Um, but my biggest thing is that there's violence in every country. Like, there's violence in every country. Um, you don't just go somewhere 
and visit somewhere and expect that there won't be any violence or not expect that something could potentially happen violence is high in south africa but um, for my my personally for me the biggest thing is gender-based violence rates are very high in south africa and that's my biggest concern um as a female in south africa uh in terms of the violence i feel like violence is everywhere luna like are you telling me i mean i did a video with tato fox a while ago where she was telling me that in england the stabbings and this and this there's violence freaking everywhere but yes south africa's the south africans tend go to south africans we tend to overdo everything south africans we tend to over jive we tend to over drink we tend to over violent yeah, understand and it's just i just I, good south africans don't have a wall i don't get it and i'm not trying to be odd or funny or whatever um violence is quite a problem in south africa but also at the same time um the levels of inequity are quite high in this country and the people of this country are actually quite frustrated um if it's not the corruption it's a this and sometimes when you don't have something People end up resorting to very violent methods of just putting food on the table and all of that. And it's it's always, there's always a deeper story. But yes, violence is quite high in South Africa, unfortunately. Mm. Kodani says, for me, she's South African. So she says, for me, it's the all South African women, all South African black women have big butts, stereotypes. Some of us are thick, but have ironing boards. But Obama deep. Ironing board though. <laughs> that is a major stereotype that is unrealistic south african women black women she said black south african black women not all of us have big butts i mean i've got my fair share honey <laughs> i've got my fair share of booty okay but not all of us have big butts um and not all of us want to have big butts like for me it was an insecurity of mine very long ago like why is my bum so big and i didn't like it now I've learned to accept it. I aspired it. I see it every day. So I've accepted it. My sister was one of the people that helped me be more accepting of my bum because my sister's down on my ears, okay? And uh, just how she wears it, how she wears her bum is commendable. Like she'll wear these what what and then her bum is all out there and I'm just like, but my bum ain't even that big and I can't even, I can, why, why? Uh, but not all South African women have big butts. That's uh, not all South African black women have big butts. That's no. It's a that it it's it it's it it's an assumption. Um, Bully says South Africans are lazy and SA women only date for money. Let's get into it. Um, personally, I'm gonna have very very I, I might be attacked for this and it's fine we can talk about it because I'm also talking about it personally as a South African um, I do feel like some South Africans have an element of lazy in them uh, not all South Africans are lazy I'm not speaking for all South Africans however I do feel some South Africans have an element of lazy we sit with very brilliant and very smart minds and people who are educated and people who are this and who are this but south africans always feel like someone owes them something you know um let me give you an, an example ne? you'll have a south african a young graduate who has just graduated but is struggling to find work so in any other country or in any other place um, what I have picked up is that young people don't mind starting out somewhere. They don't mind starting out as a waiter. They don't mind starting out as a petrol attendant while they find something better, right? While they, they're working towards something better. But in the meantime, let me find something and make some money. In the meantime, a South African will never, a South African will tell you that, I didn't go Nazan, I didn't go, go to a bachelor's degree so that I can be a waiter. What is wrong with it? What is wrong with it? And now the thing is, South Africans can come for me with this one because now the thing is, then South Africans will say, yeah, foreigners are taking our jobs, what, what, eh? when you go to a restaurant, most of the waiter staff and what have you are foreigners and whatever. It's because South Africans don't want to apply for those jobs. That's the thing. South Africans feel like, no, I would, I would rather be sitting at home 
as opposed to getting a job as a waiter or as uh, uh, the wonderful people that collect our bins or, or the people that clean our streets or keep our towns, uh, cities clean and whatever. They would never do that. That's the problem with South Africans. Not to say that they are lazy, but South Africans can... can and my South Africans are lazy fuck, man. <laughs> like, I feel like we could do better. I feel like we could do better. We've got such bright and smart young minds that I just feel like a lot of South Africans get quite comfortable once they get into a position where um, they've got a 9 to 5 and if the 9 to 5, uh, 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 you know, if they get paid what a good salary and whatever, they're quite comfortable with being in that 9 to 5 for the next 15, 20 years. Whereas, you know, some people, men, and look, I'm starting to see it in the new generation, the younger generation. I'm seeing it, you know, you get content creators, you get people starting their own things, entrepreneurs, I love to see it. But generally, SA women only date for money, why would you not? <laughs> I mean, I mean, ugh, date for money, ne? that's a lie, that's, that's unrealistic, that is a, a huge general assumption. Um, money is a thing in relationships. Relationships don't survive off of I love you alone. They don't. Okay? It's just that some South African women want somebody who's got buku, bucket loads of money. Okay? Because they want to live a lavish life and whatever. That's fine. But then you, you don't think women like that are present. They're in Nigeria. And uh, present then Ghana and, and Botswana and England and, 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 and America. They're present everywhere. So this thing of assuming that South African women only date for money. Firstly, what is wrong with making sure that the person that you choose to be your partner is somebody that can at least take care of you? Or, or y'all can take care of each other? But yes, they're the ones that go a little bit overboard because you want, you want puku so that this person can... They're each to their own. People have preferences. But who doesn't date with the whole notion in mind that, okay, relationships don't just survive off of love alone. Relationships also need money. Money to survive. Okay? We're not gonna, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, what are we going to, what? Nifuna nienze ni, pussy. Nifuna nienze ni. What I must do? Yo, 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 yo. Like, I just feel like, no, not all South African women date for money. Not all of them, it's a lie. Not all of them date for money. Um, but at the same time, I don't see a problem why that would be someone's preference. I really don't. I, I don't see why that would be an issue. Hi, cat. I'm Namibian. Hello, darling. Moila? Moila? Mm. Firstly, South African women are beautiful. Bad. Of course. Of course. It is a thing. The Melesians in me. I'm just kidding. Uh, assumption wise, as Tato Fox indicated, okay, I'll leave it at that. Oh, assumption wise. Okay. On a serious note, though, my assumption about South Africans is that they can all dance. We know. I answered that one. We can't all dance. I am not. I can move. I've got rhythm. I think the thing about South Africans is that. Um, Gune rhythm. Gune rhythm. And I'm, I'm talking about a certain demographic of South Africans. I'm not talking about all South Africans. But generally, and I think it's an African thing, rhythm is what we have. To music, to dance. It's in our culture. It's in our traditions. It's, it forms a framework of so many of our cultures. Music, beat, uh, rhythm. In the Zulu culture, in the uh, uh, Soto culture, like it's there, it's there. With the, 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 when the, the Bassa challenge came on and my sister did the Bassa challenge and almost broke the internet. Or did she? I don't know. May I stood in front of the mirror, I'm like, I'm going to do this challenge for myself. I would never put up content like that online, but I'm too grown for that. But... I, w I wanted to stand in front of the mirror and do it by myself. Firstly, my knees were not, my knees were just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, stop that. Stop it. Get some help. Stop it. Get some help. Uh, hi, your face, your face is so breathtaking. Ha! 
<laughs> I'm always taken aback by the face that's so boyish yet beautiful. Boyish! Okay! I mean, if I'm like Zozi. <laughs> She's my favorite Miss South Africa, by the way. I love her. Uh, I have a couple of friends who are foreign and we're all in academia. And they seem to have this perception that we South Africans are swimming in exhaustible opportunities, but we're just lazy. I got into that. I feel like there are opportunities, but not right now. Not right now. Let's be honest. Employment is at an all-time high. Unemployment is at an all-time high and whatever. But we do have opportunities. We do have ways in which we can get funding to start, you know, entrepreneurship um, um, projects and, you know, to, to start something. I do really firmly believe that. And I do believe that South Africans are lazy. To a certain extent, yes. Relazy. Relazy. That's okay. Uh, also, there's a general consensus among them about our low moral standards and that we're an uncultured nation. In terms of what? Hmm? Uncultured how? Low moral standards how? Uh, it really saddens me that they think so little of us, but could this be true? I, I really... Uh, it's hard for me to answer something like this because I, I genuinely feel like I would need more like in terms of what why are you saying that south africans are an uncultured nation in terms of what low moral standards in terms of what so i'm um, i'm kind of sad that you didn't elaborate that in terms of what because then i would have i would have jumped on that but yeah uh giselle kura says that violence is really high and has a and has high hiv infec infections has high hiv infections no lies all facts all facts violence is quite high there's high hiv infections as well uh we're one of the highest up there that's that's not an assumption it's a fact and i don't want to be sitting here and be like ah there's no such thing it's a fact stats they're there the evidence is there it's all fact unfortunately um uh, precious makinta says South African women love money. Who doesn't show me the money? I love money. Am I giving off this impression that I don't love money? I love it. If somebody could sit here and give me 50 tower, just chilling, just like Bona, it's Friday, have a drink, 50,000. Do you not think that I would be hell happy? I take out my whole family. I take out my friends. I take a trip. Well, I am going on a trip, but I take a trip. I would. Who doesn't love money? Like, I feel like this is one of those things where, let's, let's, let's be honest. Let's really, really be honest with this thing. Who doesn't love money? Women love money. Men love money. Do you think that there are men who don't love it, that their girlfriends do everything for them? And that their girlfriends help them out? And that, yo, baby, ish, 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 my car. Now, ish, eh, two tires. Eh, ish, now, blow out two tires. And now, ish. Is she tired? It costs 3.5. Oh, okay, baby. Don't worry. Here you go. Nay, nay. Here you go, baby. Don't worry. Nay, 7,000. FNP notification. Do you think that men would not be like, yeah? Umuntu, <laughs> everybody loves money. Like, I feel like we'd be lying when we say that uh, 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 South Africans don't love money or, or South African women love money or what. Everybody loves money. Yo, we need to stop making this thing like it's some taboo thing to like money. We like money. We like it. We want to show me the money. Uh, Dion says South Africans are a vibe. You're absolutely right. We are. What do you even mean? Of course. We're a vibe all day, every day. Have you seen the Savannah girls? Have you seen some of our comedians? Have you seen... Gor could we go off at each other? Have you seen Black Twitter? South African Black Twitter? It's a... We are within. We're a vibe each and every single day without fail. If I want to laugh, if I want to feel like I'm more woke, excuse me, but I hate that term. But if I want to feel like I'm woke, if I want to feel like I need to, I need to be present in my country with my people, I go on to Twitter, man. We are a vibe. It's a party every day, man. It's a party. We're fighting with one another. It's a party. We're partying with one another. It's a party. It's a good time in this country. As much as we have the problems that we have. South Africans, like, 
we made a whole freaking joke about a family meeting. Our president was talking to us about the pandemic and locking us down. And we all knew, man, at like 10 to 8, we were like, yo, tweeting, it's time, it's about time for the family meeting. And it became a thing that even our own president said it live on air. It was like, it's time for a family meeting. We're like, hey! So, South Africans are a vibe, guys. It's like, it's a, it's a good time, yeah. One assumption which unfortunately sometimes get, sometimes get confirmed by social media is that South African women are not ambitious. They all want to be Instagram baddies with a rich man and have babies. Ah! This does not apply to me and many of the other South African women that I know, friends, family members. This assumption diminishes all the ambitious, independent, hardworking South African women out there. Absolutely right, B. B. Marie Schmidt. Absolutely right. There are very ambitious South African women. There are very, I know of even South African content creators, okay, that are freaking so ambitious, so out there, so about making their money and making their coin that I cannot subscribe to that line of thinking. I cannot be part of this line of thinking. I really can't. I just feel like South African women, there are those ones that will want what they want for themselves and A, standards, preferences is a completely, entirely subjective and individualistic thing. So, sure. Um, but... South African women, there are, yo, man, what do you even mean? How many women led, women started, women co-founded, founded businesses are like multi-million rent worth businesses in this country? Like, we, what does? No, no. That statement and stereotype and whatever probably applies to very few South African women who are willing to even justify that statement. I, me, I don't even have time to think about things like that, but I know incredible women who are doctors, who are entrepreneurs, who are freaking business owners, who are, listen, listen, so many of them who are making their mark in the world. So, and, and yeah, just because there's one or two or three or 10 or a hundred Instagram baddies that want to be, uh, catered for with bags and shoes and this and this and the a hey, so be it you know but there are many others who want to do that stuff for themselves and this includes myself so now nah, that can't apply to all South African women absolutely not okay that's pretty much it from me I was gonna make it a little bit longer but I, I think we're good like yeah, it's 29 minutes. I've been talking for about half an hour, so I think we're good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you in the next video. I don't know. Comment, like, subscribe, click the notification bell, follow me on Instagram, and I'd love to have a chat with you on there as well. Also, when I put up this content on my Instagram or on my YouTube or whatever, um or uh yeah the only way to make these videos long and i know you like them long the only way to make them long is if you give me your input as well so if i only get like five responses if i pose the question out there like i'm gonna do an assumptions about essay what are your assumptions and i only get five responses don't be surprised if the video is only 10 minutes long you know what i mean so um definitely rely on your input and let's have fun let's all chat about it um yeah so even on instagram also you know make sure that you throw in your two cents worth uh i'm gonna film a candid with cat right now and of course i'm gonna need another bottle but yeah had a good time it's a friday man it's friday the weather is amazing and yeah having a good time okay I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, sayonara.